time having a look at the Honda Odyssey. It's a big seven-seater people mover. Let's see how good it is as a baby drive. Storage in the Odyssey is a bit different. There's no central console storage box here. It's a gangway for people to walk through to the second row seats. So there are two cup holders in a fold out here. They will hold a large refillable water bottle, a disposable and a reusable coffee cup fit really well too. In front of them is a big rubber lined well that's good for your phone and all your charging points are there too. This does move slightly, which um, I'm not really sure why, but um, yeah, it's got a lot of movement in it. The glove box is a good size. It will hold my wallet, my iPad and the manual in there. The door bins are quite small. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and a small one and a pigeon baby bottle fit in there too. And there's the little handle wells as well in the doors. There's also a glasses case and conversation mirror in the ceiling here. In the second row of the Odyssey, storage is pretty minimal. There is a little cup holder in the front of these movie seats and another cup holder in the door as well. They're both really small. They'll hold a 600ml water bottle or a reusable or disposable coffee cup. And in the back of the seat backs, there's not one big map pocket. There's two little ones, so no iPad will fit in there. There's also in the back here what I love as a baby drive feature are these window blinds. They just really help to keep your little ones screened from the sun while you're driving. Storage in the third row is pretty minimal. There's just a square cup holder on either side. They will hold a 600ml or a coffee cup, but they rattle around because they're obviously the wrong shape. On the left hand side there's also a 12 volt socket, but I wouldn't put a child in the back here with that 12 volt socket being in their hand level. Now seating in the back here, these are more basic seats obviously than the second row, but they're pretty comfy and spacious and headroom is good too. There's two seats in the second row of the Odyssey and they both have top tether points right at the bottom at the back and they both have isofix in the seats there. Now both are quite hard to attach to. The top tethers, because they're so far down, I found I need extension straps for rear facing seats. And the isofix, they're within the leather of the seat base, so they're actually really hard to connect to. In the third row, there's no isofix, but there are top tethers for both of the outer seats. They're not within plastic guides, they're just metal bars on the lip of the boot. And they're not too bad to attach to either. There's a lot of movements in these seats. They actually slide all the way forwards and back. And there's a footrest that pops up too. The boot of the Odyssey opens and closes manually. And it's an unusual shaped space and like the Kia Carnival, it's really low down. Let's see how much we can fit in the boot of the Honda Odyssey. When only using four seats, it will fit 20 shopping bags. Or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and 11 shopping bags. Or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and 13 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and 13 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 18 shopping bags. When using all six seats, it will hold six shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and two shopping bags, or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and one shopping bag, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and three shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and three shopping bags. So the only problem with this boot space is, when you're using child seats in the third row, these top tether straps that clip on here can obstruct what you can get in the boot there. The Odyssey is quite a nice car to drive, it doesn't feel as big as it is. It is quite smooth, the only thing is I've found when I'm going uphill that it's really really revvy and a little bit loud. The media system in the Odyssey is really old fashioned and really quite basic and difficult to use. There's no um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto either. When you put it in reverse, you do get these um, camera visuals and there are all sorts of different angles and parking helps that you can use as well. There's also a button on the end of your um, indicator stick that allows you to change camera angle too. The image is obviously just very pixelated and small. So to sum up with the Odyssey, I find it an unusual car, but it may suit some families. And it is very spacious and it will hold four child seats. Read 
read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au.